Do you ever ponder the inception of cybersecurity? When did we first realize the need to protect our digital world? Our story begins in a time when the internet was but a novelty, an intriguing invention that connected computers across the world. This was the era of dial-up, the time of that unforgettable symphony of screeches and tones as your computer connected to the web. It was a time of exploration, of pushing boundaries, and of course a time of vulnerability. In the world of cybersecurity, viruses were the first villains. The term computer virus was coined in the late 70s, but it was in the 80s that the first true computer virus made its debut. The Elk Cloner, as it was called, was not malicious, but it opened the door to the possibility of harmful digital invasions. The dawn of viruses necessitated the birth of a counterforce, antivirus software. The first antivirus program, Reaper, was actually a virus itself designed to remove the creeper virus. It was not long before commercial antivirus software hit the market marking the beginning of a digital arms race in those early days hackers emerged from the shadows these were not the sophisticated organized cyber criminals we know today they were often lone wolves driven by curiosity and the thrill of breaching the digital frontier Notable figures like Kevin Mitnick, who hacked into dozens of systems, including those of global corporations, were instrumental in shaping the future of cybersecurity. Their actions highlighted the vulnerabilities in our systems, sparking a global conversation about digital security and privacy. This era was not just about exploration and mistakes, it was also a time of learning. Each virus, each hack, each security breach served as a lesson, pushing us to develop stronger, more secure systems. It was a time of trial and error, a time of discovery and innovation. It was this era of exploration, mistakes and learning that laid the groundwork for the cybersecurity we know today. As the internet became more common, so did cyber threats. How did we adapt? In the early days of the internet, it was a vast, uncharted territory. As more people started to explore this new world, the need for security became apparent. As the internet broke new ground, so did the threats that lurked within its depths. The exhilarating era of discovery was accompanied by a shadowy underworld of cyber threats. The first line of defense was the humble firewall. Think of it as the digital equivalent of a castle's moat, designed to keep out unwanted intruders. Firewalls were developed to regulate the flow of data, allowing only approved traffic to pass through. They became the guardians of network boundaries, ensuring a secure digital fortress. Then came the evolution of encryption, the art of coding and decoding information. In the realm of cybersecurity, encryption became the secret weapon. It transformed sensitive data into indecipherable text, ensuring that even if data fell into the wrong hands, it would remain unreadable. It was as if our digital secrets were locked in a safe and only the rightful owner held the key. But the cyber threats were relentless. They kept evolving, finding new ways to bypass these defenses. This led to the development of intrusion detection systems, the digital equivalent of a burglar alarm. These systems monitored network traffic, identifying suspicious patterns and raising an alarm when potential threats were detected. Let's not forget the significant cyber attacks that shook the world. From the infamous Morris Worm in the late 80s, which slowed down a significant portion of the internet, to the I Love You virus at the dawn of the new millennium, which caused billions in damages worldwide. These events were stark reminders that with every new technology, there were new vulnerabilities, but it wasn't all doom and gloom. These threats, as daunting as they were, sparked a wave of innovation. They propelled the field of cybersecurity forward, pushing us to develop better, stronger defenses. With every new technology came new vulnerabilities, but with every vulnerability there was an opportunity for innovation. The advent of e-commerce brought about a new wave of cyber threats. How did we ensure the security of our digital transactions? Let's rewind to the late 90s. The internet is booming and the concept of e-commerce is rapidly gaining momentum. Suddenly we had a world of products at our fingertips, but with this convenience came a new frontier of risks. The dawn of e-commerce meant that sensitive information like credit card numbers and personal data were being transmitted across the web. To protect this information from prying eyes, a technology called Secure Sockets Layer, or SSL encryption, was developed. This technology Technology works like an invisible cloak, scrambling data into an unreadable format while it's being transferred, hence safeguarding our online transactions. But SSL encryption was just one piece of the puzzle. 
The rise of e-commerce also led to the development of secure payment gateways. These are systems that process, verify and accept or decline credit card transactions on behalf of merchants using secure internet connections. However, despite these advancements, cyber criminals were always lurking, looking for ways to exploit the system. This led to notable cases of e-commerce fraud, such as identity theft and credit card fraud. These incidents served as a wake-up call, highlighting the need for robust cybersecurity measures. In response, we saw the emergence of dedicated cybersecurity companies offering a range of services from vulnerability assessments to threat intelligence. These companies have been instrumental in identifying and addressing potential security threats, ensuring that our digital shopping experience remains safe and secure. They've developed innovative solutions to keep up with evolving cyber threats, employing advanced technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning to predict and prevent cyber attacks. The age of e-commerce has indeed transformed the way we shop, but perhaps more importantly it has revolutionized the way we protect our digital assets. It has laid the groundwork for the cybersecurity measures we see today and continues to influence the strategies we'll need for the future. The age of e-commerce not only transformed the way we shop, but also the way we protect our digital assets. The proliferation of social media brought about new challenges for cybersecurity. How did we protect our digital identities? With the rise of social media platforms in the early 21st century, our lives became increasingly digitized. We started sharing more about ourselves, our interests, our connections. But as the digital landscape expanded, so did the threats. This wave of social media adoption brought to the forefront a new set of challenges for cybersecurity. One of the most pressing issues was identity theft. As we willingly shared more personal information online, cybercriminals found new opportunities. They started creating fake profiles, stealing identities and tricking unsuspecting users into revealing even more personal data. Our digital identities, a concept that seemed almost abstract at the turn of the century, suddenly became tangible assets at risk of theft. Then came phishing, a devious cybercrime where attackers masquerade as a trustworthy entity to dupe individuals into sharing sensitive information. Social media platforms became a fertile ground for such schemes, with cybercriminals exploiting the trust we placed in our digital networks. Uh, and let's not forget about the dark side of social interactions online, cyberbullying. As our social lives moved into the digital realm, so did various forms of harassment and bullying. While not a breach of data per se, cyberbullying became a significant social issue that cybersecurity needed to address. In response to these growing threats, cybersecurity had to evolve. It was no longer just about protecting data in the corporate world. It was about safeguarding personal information, protecting privacy and ensuring safe digital interactions. We saw the rise of sophisticated security measures like two-factor authentication, complex password requirements, and encryption algorithms designed to protect our digital identities. The era of social media revolutionized how we communicate and share information, but it also exposed us to new risks and vulnerabilities. It taught us that cybersecurity is not just about protecting data, but also about safeguarding our identities. The era of social media showed us that cybersecurity is not just about protecting data, but also about safeguarding our identities. The age of big data brought about a paradigm shift in cybersecurity. How did we protect such vast amounts of information? As the digital age advanced, we found ourselves in the era of big data, a time when information was no longer a mere commodity, but the lifeblood of innovation and progress. This explosion of data, however, was a double-edged sword. While it offered unprecedented opportunities for business growth and understanding of consumer behavior, it also became a target for cyber criminals, leading to an alarming rise in data breaches. With the advent of big data, the traditional perimeter-based security model proved insufficient. Instead, organizations had to adopt a data-centric approach, focusing on protecting the data itself rather than just the boundaries of the network. This shift led to the development of advanced data encryption technologies, which scrambled information to make it unreadable to unauthorized users. But encryption was not a silver bullet. Cybersecurity had to evolve to address the multidimensional challenges posed by big data. 
The sheer volume and variety of data demanded more sophisticated tools and strategies. This led to the rise of machine learning and artificial intelligence in cybersecurity, enabling the detection of anomalous patterns and potential threats in real time. The age of big data also gave birth to a new realm of vulnerability, the cloud. As organizations moved their data to cloud platforms for ease of access and cost efficiency, they exposed themselves to new security risks. This necessitated the development of cloud-specific security measures, adding another dimension to the evolving landscape of cybersecurity. Moreover, the value of data made it a prime target for state-sponsored cyber attacks, driving the need for national cybersecurity strategies and international cooperation. Cybersecurity was no longer just about protecting an organization's assets, it was about safeguarding a nation's economy and security. The era of big data brought to the fore the immense value and vulnerability of data driving the evolution of cybersecurity. The protection of data in all its forms and locations became a global imperative, shaping the next chapter in the story of cybersecurity. As we hurdle into the future, what does the landscape of cybersecurity look like? Picture a world where artificial intelligence and machine learning take the helm in the realm of cybersecurity. As we advance, these technologies are becoming increasingly adept at identifying threats, understanding patterns, and making split-second decisions to neutralize attacks before they can cause damage. However, it's not just about fighting fire with fire. These technologies can also predict and prepare for threats that are yet to emerge, giving us a proactive edge in the digital battlefield. Yet where there's light, there's shadow. As we embrace these powerful tools, we must also prepare for the challenges they bring. The rise of quantum computing, for instance, holds immense promise. Quantum computers, with their ability to process vast amounts of data at unprecedented speeds, could revolutionize cybersecurity they could crack codes that would take conventional computers millennia to decipher, offering a new level of security. But this same power could fall into the wrong hands, turning a tool of protection into a weapon of mass disruption. The future of cybersecurity is not just about technological evolution, but also about the human factor. As the stakes get higher, the need for skilled professionals who can navigate this complex landscape becomes crucial. Cybersecurity will continue to be a field that requires constant learning, innovation and adaptation. It will require individuals with the creativity to foresee threats, the tenacity to persist in the face of challenges and the wisdom to use technology responsibly. In this ever-evolving landscape, one thing remains clear. The importance of continuous innovation in cybersecurity. We must always be one step ahead, anticipating new threats, developing new strategies and refining our tools. It's a game of cat and mouse, where complacency can lead to catastrophe. As we stand on the precipice of the future, the evolution of cybersecurity remains an ongoing journey. Always adapting, always innovating, always protecting. From the dawn of the internet to the age of AI, the evolution of cybersecurity has been a fascinating journey. We've traversed this timeline together, from the first murmurs of digital protection during the dial-up era, through the rise of the internet and e-commerce, to the explosion of social media and big data. We've witnessed how cybersecurity has become a cornerstone of our society, an invisible shield protecting our digital identities. This journey has also highlighted the relentless innovation within this field. Cybersecurity is not static, it's a dynamic, ever-evolving landscape, constantly adapting to new threats and challenges. The future promises even more advancements, with artificial intelligence and quantum computing poised to revolutionize digital security. As we continue to push the boundaries of technology, one thing is certain, cybersecurity will always be there, evolving, adapting and safeguarding our digital world.